these are the jobs you can get with a kinesiology degree. If you have one of those or are thinking about getting one, these are the jobs you can get. What's going on guys? My name is Casey Coleman. I'm a physical therapist and the co-founder of Pre-PT Grind. And this is where we help thousands of students get into PT and PTA school without wasting time, money, stress, anxiety, and everything in between. So if that's what you want, if that's what you're looking for, welcome, click the links below, subscribe, and get into our world. So on this video, we are talking about jobs you can get with a kinesiology degree. And let me first say, you can get pretty much any job with a bachelor's degree. It's a bachelor's degree. Do not lock yourself in to this box of saying, oh, I have this degree, I have that degree. I can only do this, I can only do that. No, you free yourself, free yourself. I'm sure you know your aunt, uncle, cousins, siblings, somebody who has a degree or had a degree and now they're doing something totally different with their lives. So that's the first thing I wanna make sure you guys understand. Just because you have this degree or thinking about getting that, oh, what jobs can I get? Oh, I'm locked in. No, you're not. It's just a degree. It's a bachelor's degree. It's just a ticket to go play a game and you can go play any game you want. You might need a little extra tra training if you're going from a kinesis degree to you know, uh, UX design or something like that or a kinesiology degree um, to communications or something like that. Okay, I get it, but just because you have that degree doesn't mean you're locked in, all right? So that is that. Now, let's talk about this kinesiology degree. What does that even mean? Let's talk about what kinesiology even is. So kinesiology just means the study of movement. Kines is Greek for movement and ology is the study of. So kinesiology is the study of movement. It really doesn't say in there human movement, we just assume human movement, but it could be, I guess technically, the movement of plants or the movement of animals or something like that, but usually it's referring to human uh, movement. So that's what kinesiology is. And now let's go into these different jobs you can get with this degree, or you can, or what is, what is common to get with this degree, so I should say that. These jobs are common to get with this, this degree. It aligns well with the kinesiology degree, all right? And these are gonna be broken up into three categories. Jobs you can get with just an associate's degree, like a degree, two-year degree after high school, then a full bachelor's degree that you get after four years of college or university, then a doctorate level degree, all right? So let's get into it. Group one will be associate's degrees, all right? So these are some jobs you can get with a kinesiology associate's degree, if your school has that. So number one, personal trainer. Now, do you need an associate's degree to be a personal trainer? No, not necessarily, uh, but you can get some extra certifications or get an associate's type of degree to, I guess, further your education or further your confidence level to be uh, a better personal trainer if that's what you feel like you need. So personal trainer, you can be a personal trainer with a kinesiology degree. Next, you can be a fitness consultant. But isn't that what a personal trainer is? Okay, let me explain. Yes, you can overlap them, but let me explain. So a personal trainer, you could be there with that client. You know, you can be in their face. One, two, three. I, that's what usually people think of with personal trainers. I know it ebbs and flows nowadays, so just go with me. Don't kill me in the comments yet. Next, uh, like I said, fitness consultant. Now this can be more so hands off, right? This can be, okay, you call me once a week, you call me twice a week, or we sit down once a month and we go over your full fitness plan. We take your measurements, we do all this and that. So you can be more of just a fitness consultant and not be in their face like, oh, one, two, like every day with them as a personal trainer. Now you can mix these two up and say, oh, it's a fitness consultant is just an online personal trainer and so on and so on. But you can be a fitness consultant and you just consult with them like one-on-one, -on -one, or you can just be that personal trainer or mix the two. It's your life, it's your degree. You know, do what you wanna do with your career. Next, now you can further classify that as like a fitness group instructor. So you can take groups of people and teach a spin class or teach an aerobics class or teach yoga and things like that. So you can be a, uh, a fitness group instructor as well. So those are some things that you can do just right off the bat with an associate's degree, with some extra certifications that don't need a full, um, like a full uh, bachelor's degree as well. Uh, some other things you can throw in there just as a little pro tip is like a, a referee. 
So if you have a kinesiology degree and want to stay in the sports world and want to stay in athletics, and want to stay in movement, you can be an, uh, a referee or a uh, uh, like a sports coach as well. Sports coach can go into the bachelor's degree level. Just depends on what that school requires if you're teaching, sorry, not teaching, if you're coaching for a school team. Like if you're on a college level or D1 or, you know, a JUCO level, they might require from the university an extra degree or whatever. That's school dependent, all right? So you can throw like referee and uh, sports coach in there as well with this category, all right? So those are some ideas you can get flowing uh, with a kinesiology major in that um, associate's degree category, all right? Next is the bachelor's degree category. So if you're getting a kinesiology degree, this is where many of you are. You're majoring in kinesiology at a four-year university or starting in community college and transferring to a four-year university. So what you can do is become an exercise physiologist. Now this might be, I believe it's in limbo. Some people or some schools might be requiring a master's degree. Uh, so depending on the school that you go to or their full transition, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, some schools might require you to get that as your master's degree, all right? But you can uh, get it as a bachelor's degree and be an exercise physiologist. So usually I get this question like, what is that? What is an exercise physiologist? And usually people watching this video, like you, you might be deciding between exercise science as a major and kinesiology as a major. And I already did a video on jobs you can get as an exercise science major, so click up there, click below, click right here, and go watch this video after you watch the full video of this one. All right, so exercise physiologist. And how I like to explain it as simply as possible is exercise physiologists really look at the physiology of the body in response to exercise. All right, I'm gonna say that again. Exercise physiologists look at the physiological effects that exercise has on the body. So like you might see people running with like a mask on, like a on the treadmill or something with this big old mask, right? And they're looking at the physiological levels of VO2 max, your heart rate, um, not necessarily blood levels unless they, you know, take it out, but they're looking at how exercise is affecting your heart rate, your lung capacity and all that stuff at the physiological level, right? So that's the stereotypical picture you might see and that's why you see it. So they're seeing, okay, how does this raise, you know, maybe white blood cell levels or red blood cell levels, or how does this affect, you know, metabolism and all that stuff. So they're looking at the physiology of how exercise impacts the body, all right? So that's what an exercise physiology really, uh, exercise physiologist really does. And that's what, that's a simple explanation of what it is, all right? Um, next, this kind of goes along with what I said before with the master's versus bachelor's degree. Usually, especially at this time, athletic training degrees are moving into the master's realm and they might even be creeping up to the doctorate level realm, but let's go with me here. You need an extra level of, 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 of degrees to get um, this degree in athletic training. So bachelor's in athletic training or master's in athletic training, that's another job you can get as a kinesiology major. So if you graduate as a kinesiology major, you could be an athletic trainer but you also might have to, especially at this time of the video, you might have to apply. Well, I know you have to apply for AT school and I believe most of those are master's degrees now, okay? So you might still have to get an extra level of training as far as school goes, uh, but you might be able to still find some schools that, um, or some jobs that don't require it, all right? So that is an athletic trainer. So an athletic trainer now versus physical therapist is a whole nother discussion. I'll probably have to do a whole nother video on it. But basically for this video, how I like to explain it is physical therapists can work with athletes, but usually you see physical therapists working in other settings and with other specialties as well. Now, kill me in the comments. I know athletic trainers are moving to different settings and specialties as well. I get that, so there's even more overlap, but for simplicity's sake, Athletic trainers are usually seen work, working with athletes and sports teams. I know it's changing, but to help you guys see the difference as clearly as possible, physical therapists can work with sports and athletes as well, but usually you see physical therapists in plenty of other settings. And usually when you think of athletic trainers, you see them on the sports field or, or court or tennis court or whatever with, with athletes. So um, that's where the term athletic trainer comes from. So. You can be a kinesiology major and become an athletic trainer. 
Uh, next is strength and conditioning coach. You can be a coach for like power lifters or bodybuilders, uh, you know, people who are doing this more professionally or semi-professionally at a higher level um, for physique goals or strength goals. So you can do that. And you can also be a kinesiologist. You can be a kinesiologist as well with a kinesiology degree. And basically as a kinesiologist, you're working with um, either sports teams or individually athletes or recreational centers or you know senior centers and things like that to work with them holistically to kind of improve their mobility, improve their strength, improve their sometimes layout of the facility, you know, just to help um, them move better around the facility or work with fitness consultants or personal trainers to help them, you know, basically coach them to create better plans for different types of clients and things like that. Um, then you can also be a dietitian. Uh, you can go into dietetics. You might need some more certifications and a little extra training as well. And yes, you can go to RD school. You can become a registered dietitian as well, but that takes an extra level of training as well. So with this section of bachelor's degrees, um, there is some overlap, especially depending on when you're watching this video, of what else you might need to further your education to become that thing. So yes, you need a bachelor. Yes, you have a kinesiology major and you have a degree that says kinesiology major but if you want to be uh, an athletic trainer for a certain team they might want you to get you know some extra certifications or you want to be a dietitian for this hospital you might need some extra certifications um, then next you have some more defined levels of master's degree so again like i said this overlaps but now let's go into master's degree um, things you can get into as a kinesiology major so now, athletic trainer, I talked about that before. Now you can be a prosthetist, so prosthetics. Um, you can help design those. Orthotists can also go into this as well. Um, but basically prosthetics are used with amputees. Orthotists or orthotics are used you know, in the foot, in the shoes. You guys usually know what that is. Um, then you can go into, well, this is even changing as well. This will go into the next degree category. So master's degree, athletic trainer, um, even athletic director as well, like at a D1, JUCO, D2 sports level, you're directing the athletics at that school. Then I talked about prosthetists, orthotists um, as well, and athletic trainers as well. Um, so now going into doctoral degrees, now you have physical therapist, welcome to pre-PT grind, occupational therapists are moving into the doctorate level. Um, some schools you can still just become an occupational therapist without your doctoral degree, but that's changing as well. Um, you have your research scientists, so people in the labs doing these studies, they're more of the PhD doctorate level um, candidates. And then of course you have your sports medicine doctor, your sports medicine physician, and that's going to med school. So lastly, usually people get this confused, especially um, people trying to learn about these different jobs and degrees that you can get with these jobs. They're like, I wanna go into sports medicine, but can I be a sports medicine physical therapist? There, there's a difference to that. I know what you mean, but there's a difference. So if you wanna be a sports medicine physician, you have to go to medical school to be a sports medicine physician. If you wanna be a physical therapist or athletic trainer that works with athletes and on sports teams, you can be a physical therapist or athlete, athletic trainer that works with athletes or sports teams. So uh, just keep that in mind. You can be a sports medicine physician, but you have to go to medical school. All right, so those are some jobs you can get as a kinesiology major. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, tag, all that stuff below. And again, if you are new to Proof PT Grind, we help thousands of students become physical therapists and physical therapist assistants. So hit all the stuff below, subscribe, and we will see you on the next video.